Alright guys, so you know we are a growing channel, so what better way to grow than to re-renovate our gaming room. So as of right now, as you can see, there's just a hunk of mess. Basically, we are going to change up this room and make it into a gaming man cave. And who else better to explain what's going to happen than our tech expert, Mr. Echo. Hi, welcome back, Echo. Hello. Yeah, so uh, can you give us a brief rundown of what's going to happen in this area? Okay, so as you can see over here, here's the floor plan of the room. So this is where the TV is right now. So we'll put the TV and our gaming monitor, our gaming setup here. And beside it, on your right, you have your CPU, desktop, and uh, Xbox and the PlayStation all stacked at this side. And then at this side, we are still deciding what to put, but <coughs> we have a rough idea of putting some display, some game, some limited, limited edition, uh, yeah, figuring or whatsoever. Alright, so um, what's the date today? Today is it's the 19th of August. So starting today, let's see how long it will take us, okay? Is this video sponsored? Yes, it is sponsored by Titan Digital Media, straight out of our pocket. Let's go! go. Alright guys, so we got the guys from Raffles Paint to come in and help us paint the Not Good Gamers room and Echo actually picked the colour. So, thank you guys from Raffles Paint. So let's go inside and see how they're doing. The whole place is uh, wrapped up and you can see they're doing their first layer of paint. Ah, okay, this wall is done. But, if I'm not wrong, we asked for this colour. Yeah, it's not, it's not really matching the colour. Okay. Um, wait, who was the one that chose the colour? Ah, Echo. Echo! Yeah. Come here. You're not colour blind, right? Oh. Or am I just tripping? But this isn't the colour we agreed on. We agreed on this colour. So why does it look more like this colour? Uh, so I think I think I think this thing uh, play tricks on my eye. I told Kersing I wanted this colour, uh -huh. but I told her this colour code. So you read the code for the colour wrongly. So so you gave them a more pastel colour. So, yeah. what time is it? It's NGG time! <laughs> you know what, as long as we're yellow, we're still good. But you know what, you need to get your eyes checked, man. Well, we'll check in on them again later on. Let them finish off the work. Good job, Echo! Alright, so it's been an hour since we last checked out the room and I think Echo sort of redeemed himself because the guys from Raffles Paint came down within an hour to actually change the wall with another coat of paint, alright? So, Echo, you're lucky, alright? Because the guys from Raffles Paint did a marvellous job and this is the colour that we actually wanted. This, this is the colour we want, right? So now it looks less playtime and more NGG. So that's day one of painting and already one mishap by Echo. Good job. <laughs> so we just gotta wait for more stuff to happen and we'll carry on as we go along. So once again, thank you guys for full spin for coming in clutch with the yellow. Alright guys, so it's November 28th. It's been three months since we last said that we were gonna fix up the gaming room. But we're still not satisfied with it. So this is so-called the phase one of the gaming room. It's done, it's done, but like not done done if you know what I mean, alright? So um, as you can tell, in the video I'm using the same outfit, I swear to god this is not planned at all, okay? Let's see what's new inside the gaming room. So this is where we put our display, alright, over here for those of you who don't know. This is a Mortal Kombat 11 uh, figurine, statue head, alright? There's only 20,000 of this in the world. Only we our, ourselves, NGG and NOC has one and another person has it if I'm not mistaken, yes? So this is uh, Thanos Gauntlet. So this is our old drone. I think it was our very first drone that we ever bought. It's the Mavic Pro, right? Remote control and everything. This is uh, the helmet from the Titanfall 2. And the guys from EA was so, was so nice to actually send me a helmet from Titanfall 2. Alright, over here we have Chief Master. Very nice helmet, pretty standard. We got night vision goggles from COD Modern Warfare. So we might do a short um, review about that, but it actually works. Actually works, right? Uh, we got Thor's um, Mjolnir right here. We got Nerf guns and we got some of our controllers. And yeah, so this is our display cabinet. That's the word cabinet. I was looking for a cabinet. This is sponsored by MC2. The binds, man, that's right. So MC2 came in and installed binds for us.
because you know, see like how we have a glass wall right here and we don't want light to come in and we want like a man cave kind of feeling you know, when we're gaming. So there's a remote here, right? Buttons, one, two, three, up, down and stop. That's right, total privacy right now, yes. And if you want to do it halfway, I have to just press up. And there you go, halfway. It really depends on what you want, what you're feeling. Usually I like to keep it um, all the way down, you know, to give me some privacy while I game, all right? So now, on to our gaming setup. All right, so this is our gaming setup. As you can tell, I'm sitting on my secret lab Titan chair. Yeah, Titan. We have our own, very own Titan chair. So about a month ago, um, Echo reached out to Razer in hopes like, you know, they will send us some stuff, you know, like what we need and stuff like that to make our gaming room complete. And they were super duper nice to send us a bunch of stuff, all right? So what we have here is the Black Widow Elite. I love it, it's super clicky. Right, yes, and it even comes with a detachable cushion, cushion, detachable cushion. Very, very nice, very, very, very sturdy. I love the feeling. Next up, we have the new Serene Emote mic. When you're streaming, right, if you're streaming and someone comments with an emoji, it will actually appear here. You can actually do it like a lot of settings. When someone subs to you, it will come up. Uh, welcome to the family, put up money sets, can put up a lot of stuff. It's up to your own customization, up on the Synapse app, right, on the software, the Razer software. And right here, we have the Nari Ultimate Wireless Headset. The moment you turn it on, the bass just, <laughs> it kicks in like, I, I'm, it's not an understatement. I mean, I can't show you on the video how bassy of a bass it is on this headset, but it's super comfy, it's super good, the audio is super clear, the clarity is high, and that's not all. They even gave us a normal pro speaker now. You may see these two speakers right here, right? These are your, your desk speakers, your tweakers. But below here, this bin right here is the subwoofer and I'm telling you, even with closed doors, you can actually feel the bass pumping through the walls. That's how strong it is, right? Cameraman, uh, go outside the door and see if they can hear this. That's not all for the Razer peripherals, alright? So this is the most important thing, right? So we've been using the Mamba Tournament Edition for the longest time. We still use it because if it ain't broken, don't fix it, right? But there's always room for improvement, right? So with all the stuff that Razer sent us, they even sent us the Basilic, alright? It's damn dope, alright? This is 16,000 DPI, the Razer Basilic, but the Viper Ultimate. So this is the latest Razer mouse right here. This is supposedly uh, the best wireless gaming mouse as of right now. Uh, and it comes with a charging dock as well. But that's not all that Razer gave us, alright? Uh, they also gave us two ripsaw uh, capture cards. We have them ready like uh, placed on top of our CPU below here. So it's to help us uh, record games, stream games, and even connect our PS4 right here. Uh, to the TV and to the PC if ever you want to stream, alright? So that is all for our setup over here. So thank you once again so much for Razer for helping us making our dream a reality and we even got like LED lights to to suit the uh, the mode, the color, you know? Let me show you. Yeah, that's right. That's dope, right? Alright, so lights on. <laughs> oh, you must be wondering, did I install a clapper? No, I just got a clapper. And in case you were wondering behind me, that's Larry. Larry with the Starlock helmet. It used to be on our display cabinet. And then I've uh, got a Titan merch. Of course, guys, get your Titan merch right here. That's right. Go to this website to get your very own Titan merch. Uh, we got the WWE Championship belt. <laughs> Alright guys, so we've come to the end of our gaming room tour. Thank you so much for watching and also thanks again to Razer, Raffle Spain and MC2 for making all of this happen. And for you viewers, if you think you have a suggestion on what we could add to our gaming room slash man cave to make it even more cooler or even more epic, please do leave it in the comment section below. All of your suggestions will be highly appreciated. And in the meantime guys, do remember to subscribe to the channel, like this video and we'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.